Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video from the news playlist. In this video, we will work on the network inside of our project and we're going to implement our first API call to the news API. So as you can see, this is the news API that we'll be using, which called the news API. So make sure to register a new account into this website and then I'm going to show you how to get your API key. Just land on the home page of this website, then click on get API key or you can click on username from here and here's your API key. You can copy that and you can then use it in your API calls. So now let's get back to the endpoints we have for this API. So as you can see here, we have the endpoint section. We have everything endpoint and we have top headlines and we have another one for searching this one. But the one we're going to use now is the everything endpoint. And as you can see, here's an example of the response that we will be getting from this uh, API call. So we'll get this API response. And now we can just copy this and translate that into a Kotlin class, data class. So we can actually receive this and deserialize that into an object. I'm just going to copy this get request and I'm going to paste it inside Postman. And I'm going to make that API call. And here you go. Here's a response. So I'm going to copy everything in here. And I'm going to go to Android Studio. And inside the data layer, let's create a new one, a new package, and call this remote. Then a new one inside the remote. And we want to call that one data transfer object, which is going to have the response classes like the news response. So let's click here right click and we're i'm gonna use this plugin to transfer that json data into an, a class if you don't have this plugin then click here go to preferences or settings if you are using windows and here just search about plugins then search about it as you can see this is the name of the plugin json to kotlin class and install that after that right click new and choose that one and paste the text that we copied from the response and here we're going to choose the class name which is a news response and let's create or let's click on generate if you extend that you can see that uh, this plugin has already generated these uh, classes for us a news response class that has the articles status total results if you go to the if you go to the response that we got from the api call as you can see we have the same we have the same uh, fields that we got in our data class now i'm just gonna reformat this a little bit i'm gonna take this article and source and put it inside the domain layer so let's actually create a new package here called this model and i'm gonna take the source and article classes and put them inside the model package so i want this data transfer object uh, package to be just for the responses like this in your response now we can finally create our news API. So let's actually create an interface here. We're going to use retrofit with that. So news API. And in here, we're going to create a get. And we're going to connect with the everything endpoint. And now we're going to create our function. So let's actually say suspend function get news. And, and since we are going to use paging three library, and we can pass a parameter query called this page. So I just know this from the documentation of this API. We pass integer and one thing is the sources. So the new sources, and we'll talk about that more later. And here we are gonna, and these sources are just a string. And we also want to have the API key, which is a string. So let's actually make this sources. Now let's create the repository. So inside the domain layer here, I'm going to create a new package called this repository. So as we did in the manager package, we're going to do with the repository package. We're only going to have an abstract interface and we'll implement that inside the data layer. So in here, I'm going to call this news repository. And here we want to have a function that get the news. And here we want to pass the sources of the news. This is going to be a list of a string and we are going to return a flow of paging data and 
that paging data has article. So this paging data is a wrapper class for the data that we get, which we are going to implement right now. So if you don't know what paging is, it's just basically a technique that enables you to fetch data by small chunks from the server. So in our news API, we probably have millions and millions of articles. If we want to fetch all of that together, then that will take an infinite time. And the solution here comes with paging. So we just specify how many articles we want to load from the API and then the API will respond to that. So that will actually help us to get faster responses. Okay, so now to implement paging three library, we're going to create a remote paging source and we're going to create that inside the remote package here. Let's create a new class and call this news paging source. Okay, so to be able to fetch the news, we want the news API. And we also want the sources, the news sources, which is just uh, a string here. And then we want to extend from paging source class, which is an abstract class. In here, we want to pass two values, the key, which is an integer. The key here represents the page. So this is just in most cases would be an integer. And the value, we would, we would actually receive an article from this API. So we pass article here. And now we are just need to pass the constructor here and implement two functions. The first one is onload. And another one called get refresh key. So let's start with the load function. So in here, we basically gonna make our request to the API and return that articles. So in here, we wanna just get the page. You have this params object, you can use that to get the page. You can say page equals params dot key. If that's null, then we wanna start from page one. And then we wanna return try and catch. And here we just catch any exception. Um, let me actually use the one that comes from Kotlin, not Java. So exception, this one. Okay, so inside this catch, I'm going to print that stack trace. And I'm also going to return load result dot error. So as you can see, the return data type here is load result. And that has error. So if we got an exception, we just want to return error. We can say error. And in here, we want to pass the error. So we just can pass that in the throwable parameter and we can just pass e okay so inside this try and catch we just want to make a request to the server so we can say val news response equals to news api we can use get news function and then we want to pass the sources and we want to pass the page here and the page is this one so let's pass it in here and the api key so I'll just put that in the constants file and later on, I will actually show you how to store that locally in your machine. So when you push that to GitHub, you don't want that API, you don't your API key to be on GitHub. I'll show that later. So maybe when we finish this course, so we'll make a cleanup video and maybe we'll do that there. But for now, let's actually put that in here. So let's call constant val API key. And I'm going to put my API key in here. Just make sure to put yours. I'm not going to blur mine. So please make sure to put your own API key. And here I'm going to actually pass that in here. API key. Or actually what I'm going to do is just to remove this from here. And go to this function. And just make this as a default value for this API key. Okay, now we don't need to pass that in here. Okay, now we want a way to determine when we should stop the paging. And I've came up with this solution. Uh, this depends on the API you're using. So our API, as you can see in the response, it gives us the total results we get from our request. And we can use that to determine when we should stop the paging. So inside here, I'm just going to have a private bar and call this total news count. Make this zero at the beginning. And now in here, I want to say total news count plus equal to the news response and we can say articles dot size so we want to get the number of articles we got in that single uh, request and then we can actually get the articles from the response so we can say news response dot articles and now i actually found out a problem in this api that 
it might actually give you the same articles more than one time and I solved that by just using distinct by which is an extension function from Kotlin that removes the duplicates items from a list so I'm just gonna remove any any article that has the same title um, so that will actually make sure to filter our articles and remove any duplicates we have in this list then we finally can actually return load result dot page and here we actually want to pass the data which is the articles then we want to pass the next key so the next key if it's null then the library or paging 3 will actually stop loading new results or making new api calls and that's why we need this total news count now we can check if total news count equal to news response dot total results then we know we we don't have any then we know that we don't have any new articles and we want to stop the paging and here we pass null as in that we pass the page plus one and here we need to pass the previous page in this case we don't have any previous uh paging so i'll pass null and that's it for this load function let me go through that again so the load function here as you can see has this parents argument and returns this uh, load result in here we basically want to create our request and we will return a load result to this function so we get the page by the parents argument here and then we create our response inside the try and catch inside the catch block we just return an error because that's an error actually and inside the try here we actually wanna just get the response of our news and then at each news response we get we want to increase this integer value uh, by the articles we get from that response because in here we want to check that if we actually should stop paging or not and again in here we actually remove duplicates so we can just make a comment remove duplicates so the get refresh key used to return the page when we call refresh function or when we load this in news for the first time so i'm going just to paste some logic in here and i'll explain that okay so as you can see in this get refresh we get this state which has some information about the state of our paging so the anchor position here is the latest access page in the list then we have a null check here if that's not null then we want to get the closest page to that position and then we will use this anchor page to get the key or the page uh, since we have current page then we want to use previous page then plus one so this will actually give us the current page if this null we just get the next key and we subtract one out of that and if it's null then we actually gonna get one in here and just load the first page so that's how it works so this refresh key will call the first time we load this in news and if the user requests to refresh then use explicitly but we don't have that in our app so anyways now we can implement this in news repository inside the data inside the data package so let's create a new package here call this repository and let's actually create an implementation class with that re uh, repository interface and then here we can just implement the news repository and we can implement get news function in here we actually want the news uh, api so private val news api and we can just create our pager object using pager which comes from the paging3 library in here we can pass config paging configs and we can pass page size we can pass 10 in here so we basically tell the pager library that in each request we expect 10 articles as a response then we need to pass the paging source factory and inside here we need to pass an object from the news paging source and in here we can finally pass the news api and the sources and since this sources is a list and in here we receive it as a string then we want to use this join to string to just make that a string join to string and we pass the separator here which is just a comma and in here we just want to get the flow of that we can get flow and we can actually delete this pager now and just return this let's add join to string here for this sources list we'll create that later 
And now the last thing I want to do in this video is to create a use case for this function. So let's go to our domain package or domain layer and let's create a new package here. Actually, I'm going to just reformat this or to rearrange this. I'm going to create a entry package and just put all of these inside it. Click refactor and now I'm going to create a new package called this. Um, let's call this a news and then we can create a news a use case for this Call this get news. So in here in this use case, we want to have the repository and Then we can just create an operator function Called invoke so we can call that by the name of the class In here we want to get the sources Which is just a list of a string and then we return low of paging data that has articles. Finally, we can just return news repository dot get news. We can pass the sources in here. Okay, so that was all for this video. Maybe it was a long video, but I covered paging through your library and I showed you how to use that. I hope you have a great day and see you in the next video.